All right, guys, this is the assignment you're going to be doing today uh, with the subs. Sorry, I'm not here, but I trust that you will get your work done and be on your best behavior and represent our class um, to the best of your ability. So um, I'm just going to go over a couple of these. This worksheet um, correlates. Okay, so sorry about that. So what we're going to do is you're going to, I need to refer back to these notes we did yesterday, especially this section right here, because these are the the pretty much the six ways we're trying to use or look for to prove parallel. And the questions kind of correlate to some of the answers we did in class yesterday, but focus on this part, okay? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to answer these questions in the box on the worksheet. You're going to turn the worksheet in when you're done, but then right before you turn it in, do go to quiz to check, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So, if I'm, for example, number one here, because they gave me these arcs, these two angles, okay, then uh, I can determine that lines are parallel because if I look, those are corresponding angles. So this would be yes, and I could say because I have, and you can abbreviate if you want to, corresponding angles congruent, okay? So this is kind of like similar to one through four on the notes. Um, here's another example, like three. You just got to really focus on the angle, the arcs, what type of angle pair you have. I probably need to show my pencil, but if you look, these are on opposite sides of this transversal here. So if it's opposite and they're congruent here, this also is a yes, sorry, because we have alternate interior angles congruent. Now, when you get here, I think it's like five through, I think there's like four of these, five through eight. Um, now we're solving for x. So this kind of correlates with the homework two and um, the algebra that we did in the notes before the yellow foldable. So to prove it, we just basically, for the lines to be parallel, these angles that they're showing, which is same side interior, because they're both in between the lines. And if I have same side interior, that means they're gonna have to equal 180. So what you're gonna do is make your equation correspond with that relationship. That means this 3x plus the 129 is gonna equal 180. And we're gonna solve for x, which requires us to isolate the variable. So you're going to subtract the 129, and then you end up with 3x equals 51, and then divided by 3. And that's all we're doing, really. So here, x is going to equal 17. So you're just solving for the variable, and then you can check to make sure you got the right answer in quizzes. Now, on the back here, you have more than four lines. Got some more algebra, but here I'm talking about nine and ten because you're trying to determine which lines are parallel. So you got to determine which would be the transversal. So you want to focus on the angles and then the lines that they share. And you might have to extend the line. So like what I would do is let me just kind of use this little tool right here, and I'm gonna make this blue. I would extend this line this way. Okay, so I could create a transversal here. And if I focus on where the angles are, which are, let me get a pen. Sorry. Which I have a set of angles here with the 71 and 109, which I'm going to put a dope. These are same side ends here. Well, that allows me to look at the shared line, which would have to be this line being a transversal. So if that's the transversal, then the other two lines would be the parallel because that's what makes the angles. But I have to check same side interior. Same side interior, and this is kind of the one we ended with yesterday. Same side interior equals 180. And if I do 71 plus 109, then yes, that's going to give me 180. All right? So that lets me know that these two lines are going to be the parallel lines. So you name a line, we don't have the lowercase letters, so we have to use the two points. 
So this would be line M N is parallel to O P. You know me. Okay. And so we would say same side X uh, interior. I said exterior. I'm sorry, guys. That was supposed to be interior. Get ahead of myself. I'm trying to rush. Same side interior equals 180. Okay. So on a situation like uh, number 10 here, um, because we got angles or lines at diagonals, I'm going to extend in multiple directions. Like I'm going to make an extension going this way to make that. So I can look at this angle 65. And then I would probably need to also extend. I'm going to change my color here. Going this way. Going that angle like that. So then now I can do this line across with the 63. And I would probably just continue the same relationship. I extend. So you might want to extend the lines just to help see the the possible transversal. So if I'm looking at the line with the transverse one, I probably need to fix this line right here, make it a little bit more accurate. Back with the angle. There we go. All right. So like I said, if I'm looking at this angle, it would be the DE. I think that's an E. That would be that side and then this side. And if I use this is the parallel and this is the transversal, the line that they shared. So this would be my transversal. Then I'm actually looking at the 75 and then the 65. And if I look at those, those have to be um, same side exterior if I'm using those angles there. And that is not going to give me 180. So I want to probably go to the other one here. Let's do my different color. So, and then you can also like put in these vertical angles, 65, 65, and then you can find the missing angle. I don't know if y'all saw that because all three angles here, whether I'm looking at this side or I'm looking at this side, all three are adjacent and they would be a linear pair, not a linear pair, but they would be supplementary, which means if I add them up, they would equal 180. So if I have, okay, so we have two different metrics here, but on this one, we're looking at the 73 and the 65, and then I'm going to subtract that for 180. So this one over here would be 42, but this one, because I have 65 and, six, and 75, that's already 140, so that means this one would be 40. So that is going to help you kind of distinguish between the ones that are going to end up being parallel. Because if I look, I'm probably doing extra work here, but if I look here, I think you'll end up with corresponding right there. And so hopefully that will help you see which lines are the parallel. I've already showed you which ones are transversal. So hopefully now you can see which one is the parallel. And then our last section says which lines are not parallel. The key here is a not statement right here. So look at, we know the shared line is going to be the transversal. So that's our transversal. And to so find the angles that have a relationship. So with that transversal. So either I'm comparing the 131, which is the transversal on L, and the 49. Okay, which those don't even have a relationship here, but I know if this is 49, I can get it a linear pair. And this is 131. So now I see a relationship, hopefully. So that will help you see which lines are parallel. So right now, these two lines, my L and N, are parallel. So let's see if you can figure out, <laughs> hopefully, which line is not. And so from there, Finishes and it says right here you're gonna go to quizzes to check your answers. And so let me just open that up so I can show you how this works. Hold on just a second. Okay, so 
I'm just trying to show you like a little preview of what it's going to look like when you go in. So you're going to go in, pick the uh, assignment that has the same title, Proving Lines Are Parallel. I think I have the same kind of little font of the worksheet. And then here, if you look, this matches with problem number one. If I go back to where we did that, let me just show you. Oh, did I close it already? I'm sorry if I did. Hold on. Let me pause the video. Okay, I found the worksheet. So here it is. So if you look right here, this was the one I did with you. There's number one. And if you look, it's the same picture, determined. And we had determined that they were um, because we have corresponding angles congruent. So then you can just click on the answer choice and it will validate. Okay. So this is a way to kind of, <laughs> let me turn that off. Um, this is just a way to kind of check your answers as you um, work through the worksheet. I would probably check it at the end because the worksheet is definitely turned in um, before you leave. All right. Uh, if you have questions, just post it on Teams, check with your group members, email me, um, and I will see you on Thursday. Thanks, guys.